right, Coach, big win over West Texas A&M. Uh, really dominant from start to finish. Uh, it seems like y'all came out a little slow in the first half considering how many yards that y'all put up. Yes. It didn't really translate to points, but just give me your overall um, thoughts on the just overall dominant performance. Well, I thought we played well. We did. You know, um, it, it was challenging, uh, you know, a little bit with the weather. You know, some of that stuff was, was there. But, uh, you know, it, it's hard to – I went forward on a few times on fourth down. Maybe I should have kicked field goals. Like last week I was saying I probably shouldn't have kicked field goal. But uh, I went forward on a fourth down. We got stopped. Uh, that could have put some more points on the board. But, you know, in the first half we just – we went up and down the field. I mean, we really did. I mean, we, we ended up on the day rushing for close to 400 yards. And, um, you know, we threw for 100 and whatever it was. But, you know, we dropped three touchdown passes. You know, we, we did. Like, in the hands, dropped three touchdown passes. So. You know, that's something that was frustrating with it. But I think the, you know, offensively, uh, when you, I think we end up with like 550 or something like that in total offense, we did some great things. You know, defensively, we were solid all day. Um, you know, they had a hard time moving the football and, you know, against us. And, and uh, it's hard to run the football against us. And then, uh, you know, they had to pass protect and that kind of stuff too. When they got behind, felt like they had to throw it a little bit more. And, and they did. But, uh, you know, all around, just a, just a great football game. Proud of the way the guys played. And, uh, the energy level was through the roof, man. It, it really was. And um, I told them before the game, we went outside with the, with the elements. I said, you know, the coldest team's going to lose today. You know, if you go out there and you're cold and trying to play football, you're going to lose. And, and our kids weren't cold. You know, our kids went out there and played well. And, and uh, you know, the energy was, was unbelievable. So uh, that's what we needed uh, to, get, to get back on the, on the winning track. And hopefully that uh, moves, moves us forward in the uh, upcoming weeks. Coach, and talk about the response. Of course, last week it was a huge let letdown in such a close game. That yeah. was a great football game, but just didn't go your way. Um, some of these guys could have can't come out there with something not exactly to play for, you know, almost. I know the season's yeah. not over, but the response was incredible. Just talk about the, re the resiliency of this group. Well, I, I, I expected that. I really did because, you know, this program, the, the people that have played before them, have built this to where it is, and that would have been a disrespectful thing to not come out and play well and not come out and play, you know, how we're used to playing. You know, I, even even in our losses this year, I think we played well at times. You know, we just had some some cru uh, crucial mistakes and, you know, situations that didn't go our way, but that's football. But, you know, if they didn't come out and play that way, I'd have been very disappointed because that would have been a program thing, I think, more than it would have been a, uh, a single game thing. And, and uh, we have good players. We have guys. We have good leadership in the locker room. Um, so I think that um, them coming out and, and responding the way they did was something I expected them to do, but uh, very happy it happened too. And Coach, last question here from me. Uh, going in, you host in Midwestern State this year. Uh, this is a, another team that they all usually match up well, yeah. well against. Just, just go ahead and, and talk to me about what, what you expect from Mid 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 Midwestern State this week. Yeah, they're, they're a good football team. You know, they've, they've played a tough schedule. Uh, I think they're sitting at four and four right now. Um, you know, they're built like us. You know, they play really good defense. Um, offensively, they like to run the football. Um, and they got two really good running backs doing that. Their O-line does a good job with it. Um, they're just kind of a grinded out type team. And they've lost some really close games this year. So, you know, we, we don't, you know, we don't underestimate them at all. We understand what they are and, and how they play. You know, Coach Maskell's been doing it a long time. And, and uh, there's a reason he's been doing it a long time, because he wins games. and and has great seasons, you know, and, and this group is young for him. He's got some new starters in there. He had, you know, his quarterback, uh, he, he had, didn't have a kid in the program that had started a game for him you know, up till uh, this year. So, you know, they're getting better and better each week and, and they're a scary opponent and our guys uh, will have to come out and have a great week of practice and have the same intensity and energy to, to go out and, and, and compete against Midwestern. Y'all held the Bucks to a field goal the whole entire game except right there in the end where they got it. Yeah. I think it was like, yeah. You hang your hat on defense. How have you seen them grow week in and week out? I know we talked about it probably every week and doing something different out there. Yeah, I mean, it's just, um, it, I, I just think that the preparation that they have going into it and what Coach Clark and the staff on defense does um, each week, you know, to get these guys ready to play, um, the focus and what they have to take away. You know, that, that field goal they, they scored too was after a muff punt. You know, so uh, that was, we gave them a short field and they actually kicked a, 40-yard field goal. They went backwards and then ended up kicking a field goal. So, um, you know, that, that was their points. And then they got a long run on us. I think they ended up with 170 yards offense and they had a 70-yard touchdown run the last play of the game for them on offense. So, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. But, uh, 
you know, defensively, the effort and the, the preparation leading up into, into the game um, week to week uh, is, is outstanding. And uh, it's something that, you know, you have to hang your head on. You, you, if you don't have a good defense, it doesn't matter how good your offense is. It really doesn't. And, um, you know, to have a great defense, to keep the score to a reasonable number is what you, you have to do to win college football games. And in my opinion, win any football games. Um, so I'm really proud of them and, and their efforts and um, hope to continue that down the, down the road. And then a bounce back win, 513 yards of offense, Chase and Phillips and Gardner with over 100 yards, and so many guys to attribute this win to. Yeah. What are you wanting to see from your offense, or what are you wanting them to take from this week's game or last week's game yeah. into this week's game? I think just the intensity part of it. You know, it was so good getting Case and Phillips back um, and getting him going again. He's, uh, he's worked so hard uh, to get back uh, in, into, into the season of playing. And, I couldn't be more proud of him, you know, stepping in and, you know, he's had some a tough road in the sense of injuries and that kind of thing. And and uh, he's just done an awesome job of getting back. But, you know, if you take a look at the 400 yards of rushing, I think it was 396, you know, I'd be amiss if I didn't talk about the offensive line play. You know, they just did a great job of, uh, of blocking up front all day, the tight ends, the receivers, you know, when you run for 400, all, everybody's got to be on the same page and what we're trying to get accomplished. And, and they did a great job with it. You know, we brought in uh, both the other uh, younger quarterbacks at the end, or not at the end, throughout the game, and they had some rushing yards. Chad had, I think, close to 60 yards or something like that rushing. Uh, Stoney came in and uh, had some rushing yards too and, and threw a really good football uh, on one of the pass plays too. So, you know, just uh, really proud of our execution on offense all the way through. There's a couple things. We, we dropped a few passes. You know, we got, we got to clean that up. Uh, everybody said, well, the weather was bad. and, and that's true, but you're still, you know, if you're a receiver, a prerequisite is catching the football and being a receiver. So, um, but I trust that group. It's a great group of receivers. We'll get it cleaned up and, and uh, bounce back, but just really proud of them. And then my last question, you mentioned Midwestern State. They're a similar team to y'all. When I look at them on their schedule, the games that they've excelled at, they're the games that y'all have excelled at. The games they've dropped, they're the games that y'all have dropped in yeah. those battles. What do the Rams need to do to stay in this win column? I mean, just go out and execute. It really does, and and you you're right. I mean, they they've won the games they should have won on that part of it, and they've uh, they've lost some tight ones against some good football teams. And um, yeah, I, I see them as a very dangerous football team. I really do. And and you know, when you can run the football and you play pretty good defense, which they do, um, that's a good recipe, you know, to win games. So, you know, for us to go out there and, and win that football game, we're gonna have to have that great energy, go out and practice well this week, uh, the preparation parts on both sides of it being ready to go, and then um, going out and executing and doing what we're supposed to do, you know, and first play to the last play is the most important play. It doesn't matter, you know, which one it is. You, you got to go out and, and, and play great football and be consistent. So uh, that's the biggest thing that we're going to be looking for this week and, you know, going 1-0. Coach, I was going to ask just because I wanted to know yeah. this. Uh, you mentioned that if it's on fourth down, you should say you kick the field goal. Others should have went for it. Are you an analytics guy when it comes to that? Are you a game flow guy? You're a little bit of both. What do you? What I would I would definitely say more a game flow guy uh, with it. You know, we're blessed with a great field goal kicker here. If you take a look at his numbers, he's outstanding this year uh, with it. Uh, there was one time going in um, or going into the win that I was kind of felt like we were right at that borderline of doing it. So we actually ended up uh, going for it on, you know, thinking it was a one down instead of it was third down coming up I wasn't going to go third and fourth because usually if it's two down territory the option to run the footballs there um, on third because then you're going to go for it on fourth um, it was a third and ten and I felt like hey we'll probably try to kick this field goal well, I think we took a sack and then we had to punt it you know what I mean so uh, I, I'm more of a game flow type deal um, with it and how you feel you know we we'd scored so fast in the first you know that second drive going down Alfred hit him on an outside zone and uh, ran in for a touchdown, then we got down there again, and I went for it because I just felt like, you know, that was the right time. You know, getting another touchdown instead of a field goal, you know, kind of puts a lot of pressure on them offensively, and uh, we didn't get the first down. So it's just kind of that how the game's flowing and how I feel. And, and uh, but I definitely talk with our defense too. I talk with Coach Clark. You know, hey, you comfortable with this? And you know, if we go for it here and that kind of thing too, and and uh, go from there. But I'd say probably the game flow. Um, Coach. I know we're still in it to win it, but you guys were in um, selected for the Super Region 4. Did that kind of surprise you? How do you go from there? Do you still think this season will continue? It, it just it comes down to 
you know, it's out of our control uh, in that part. But I tell our guys that I'm very honest with our players about that. I'm not going to try to trick them into think that, hey, we went out and playoffs are there because uh, that's not the, the case. You know, we went out and then there's some help down the road. I mean, it's, it's potential on that part. But uh, so that's how you got to uh, play it. But, you know, at the end of the day, um, we have to go out and control what we can control. Um, if it wasn't our control, 100%, we went out, we're in, yeah, I'd be using that, you know, but it's not. It, we need some help along the way uh, with it and kind of see how those these next three weeks, um, or excuse me, two weeks of the season play out. And, um, you know, we've had our opportunities throughout the season and, you know, uh, you know, we'll see how things play out. But uh, definitely, it didn't surprise me that we were still in the in the top 10 um, because we've played really good schedule and, and lost some tight games. So that's what it comes down to. But uh, We'll see how things work out, and um, we can live with both of them. Thank you, Coach.